The crew of the Space Shuttle Discovery launched the telescope into orbit this afternoon, but it didn't go as smoothly as NASA had hoped. CNN's John Holloman has more. Hours of tension finally released. This is Mission Control Houston. PDRS officer in the control room here confirms the Hubble Space Telescope is released. This was the picture that NASA managers all over the world were waiting for. The Hubble Space Telescope, free from the space shuttle, floating in orbit, 381 miles above the Earth. They came about as close as you come, can come to a free extravehicular activity, a spacewalk. But I'm glad we had the procedures in place, even though we didn't have to use them. And uh, best of all, now Hubble is uh, healthy. It's in its uh, element. It's separated from the shuttle. But getting to this point took three hours longer than expected and created an atmosphere of tension throughout the space agency. The problems began shortly after the telescope was pulled out of the shuttle's cargo bay. There was a delay in unfurling the first of two huge solar panels from the shuttle. But it did stretch to full length and began to recharge the telescope's solar batteries. We're ready to deploy and uh, we hope uh, to be uh, working on our own. Uh, and, and doing the telescope activities and get out there and start, start getting some science later on. But when the command was sent to open the second solar panel, it began to unfurl but stopped suddenly. A computer told the motors to shut down because the panel was under too much tension. Inside, astronauts Bruce McCandless and Catherine Sullivan began to put on their spacesuits and breathe pure oxygen for an emergency spacewalk to manually unfold the solar cells. Engineers finally decided to override the computer and force the panels out. When the command was given and the panels began to move, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. And we have wing motion. Okay, Houston, we see motion. Then the robot arm was detached from the telescope and the shuttle moved slowly away, opening the door on a 15-year lifespan for the most expensive science project in America's history. For the space program, a successful mission means more support. That sells it more than anything, and is the credibility of us doing it safe, safely, uh, without having to pull out view graphs and slideshows. Uh, they can see for themselves and judge for themselves. The shuttle is now keeping its distance from the space telescope as scientists make final adjustments before we get to see the clearest pictures ever seen in the history of astronomy. John Holloman, CNN, CNN Earth Orbit tonight. NASA scientists overcame a glitch today and removed a cap that covered the telescope's cosmic eye. Today's success was greeted with handshakes and smiles by the space shuttle astronauts who took the telescope to its place in space. Our report from CNN's Tony Clark. The crew of the shuttle Discovery celebrated Friday's successful opening of the cover on the space telescope's 14-foot wide lens. It was, as the astronauts often say, a major milestone. In Discovery, Hubble is open for business. That's outstanding. Thank you, Story. Problems communicating with a billion and a half dollar telescope delayed the opening by several hours. Computers on the 12 ton observatory had put it in a protective standstill position after exceeding some of its conservative pre programmed operating limits. We're cautious, and that's nat natural. We've got a very expensive uh, spacecraft here, and we don't want to do anything to jeopardize the usefulness of the telescope. Developers say there's no problem with the telescope itself. The repeated system shutdowns are a result of very cautious limits being programmed into the telescope's computers. Because you just cannot simulate everything on the ground. You cannot afford to simulate everything on the ground. And so you take a very conservative approach and you do the final learning of how to operate the spacecraft when it's in orbit. While the astronauts awaited word on Hubble's performance, they checked out their spacesuits, ran experiments, and took some spectacular photographs of Earth from 381 miles up. They even showed off their find from earlier this week. You know what that is, I bet? Not only what it is, but whose it is. Astronaut Sonny Carter lost the watch during a mission last November in Discovery. It was apparently shaken loose from wherever it was caught when the shuttle was launched. In honor of astronomer Edwin Hubble, for whom the space telescope was named, the crew took along a telescope eyepiece Hubble used in making his many observations. It's a great pleasure to have something of such historical significance and something that so directly symbolizes Edwin Hubble's fundamental contributions to astronomy. Now that the space telescope is open and safely in orbit, 
the shuttle has moved away from its position trailing behind Hubble. The astronauts will spend Saturday packing up, completing experiments, and taking final pictures of Earth. They'll even get a chance to say how well they think the mission has gone in an early morning news conference from space. The mission is scheduled to wrap up with landing at Edwards Air Force Base Sunday morning. Tony Clark, CNN, Johnson Space Center. With the dawn the sun reflecting on its wings, the space shuttle Discovery made a picture-perfect landing in the California desert this morning. But Discovery's mission was not over with its touchdown. The crew that put the Hubble telescope in space had one last mission to perform, testing a new carbon brake system as the shuttle barreled down the concrete runway at 225 miles an hour. Discovery is the first shuttle to use the brakes, designed to last longer and withstand higher temperatures than the older ones. They worked. With the brakes and other safety improvements, NASA hopes to resume shuttle landings at Kennedy Space Center in Florida after a five-year ban. After landing, Discovery pilot Charles Bolden had this message for children. It's unbelievable the vantage point you get from 330 miles. And for all the little kids sitting here, um, work real hard, uh, study the best you can, set some kind of goals for yourselves, and then go for it. Uh, all of you won't be astronauts, but whatever you decide to do, do it very well. Do the best you can. The consensus at NASA is that the Discovery astronauts did very well indeed. They've opened a window on the universe that scientists expect will revolutionize our understanding of how far we have come and still have to go. CNN's Tony Clark looks at Discovery's accomplishments. As Discovery touched down at Edwards Air Force Base, it brought to a close a near flawless shuttle flight and open the door to years of stellar exploration with the Hubble Space Telescope. And that's extremely gratifying to see that you're a part, to know that you're a part of a mission that seems to have excited the nation as well as the world about something. Named for astronomer Edwin Hubble, the Space Telescope has been in the planning and development stages for nearly 20 years. It was scheduled to be launched in 1983, but there were repeated delays, even down to 31 seconds and, before uh, launch. We're in a no-go situation. We should have... Uh, but with a quick fix, the shuttle and its precious cargo were on their way. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. Discovery carried the telescope 381 miles above Earth. That's the highest the shuttle has ever flown, and it offered some spectacular views. I hope you guys are really taking maximum possible advantage of the Payload Bay TVs here to show the American people and people around the world a view of the Earth like they've never ever seen from the space shuttle before. And we've really had some spectacular passes. But the views that most interest astronomers are the ones the space telescope will get over the next 15 years. It was placed in that high orbit to get it above the Earth's atmosphere, which blurs ground-based observations. Bringing the telescope to life has been easier said than done. Ground controllers found they don't yet understand how to operate the telescope in space as well as they thought. Uh, I feel like that we've had um, uh, a lot more problems than I anticipated uh, in this, uh, this time period. The telescope will undergo six to eight months of checkout and setup before starting its years of probing the universe. In the meantime, the shuttle Columbia is being prepared for its own exploration of the universe. Columbia, with a seven-member crew, is scheduled to spend nine to ten days in round-the-clock observations of the stars using a payload bay full of astronomy equipment. And that shuttle launch is currently scheduled for a little more than two weeks from now. Tony Clark, CNN, Johnson Space Center.